Welcome and congratulations on your acceptance into both the Direct Entry Master's and the Undergraduate Bachelor's Program this coming semester. I'm Donna Weir, Senior Advisor in the College of Nursing, and I'm here to discuss information you'll need to know going forward about things such as forms, transcripts, books, uniforms, registration, etc. have already submitted your response sheet. If not, please do so by the deadline posted in your acceptance packet. This needs to be turned in by all students who have been offered a spot in the program, even if you decide you're not going to be starting the program. We need to know if you're accepting your spot or not. You are asked if you have health insurance. You will not be kept out of the program if you do not have health insurance but know that you are in great financial risk if you do not have insurance as you are not covered by any policy through the school or, or any of the clinical sites. And should you be exposed to any illness or have an injury, you will not be covered for medical care. If you should do something such as injuring your back when lifting a patient, you will need to pay your own bills. You also need to sign the form at the bottom indicating that you are aware of the consequences of not meeting the deadlines for submission of all requirements on Castle Branch. If you do not meet the deadlines, you will be removed from the program and placed at the bottom of the waiting list. We do not want this to happen, just like you don't, so please be sure to meet all deadlines posted in your acceptance packet. form is called the Agent Liability Form. It indicates that you have insurance that covers you as you are caring for patients or clients at your clinical assignments so that you are not at financial risk should anything go wrong. However, be aware that you need to only be performing skills, tasks that you have tested out of in the Nursing Learning Resource Center and have the approval of your clinical instructor to do. You are not insured if you should decide to do something beyond those parameters, such as surgery. Your advisor needs to confirm that you have completed all prereqs for the program. If you are enrolled in courses that are not housed at UWM or at Parkside for students starting at Parkside, you need to get unofficial copies of those records to your advisor by the deadline posted in your packet, in addition to having the official transcript sent to the appropriate admissions office. This applies for all semesters. Be aware that you must earn a minimum grade of a C and maintain appropriate GPAs at the undergraduate level or a minimum grade of B for those who are entering into the direct entry master's program to be eligible to progress into those, those programs. During the break between semesters, you will receive a letter via email from the program director. Along with that letter, you will receive information on books and ATI that you'll need for the program you are beginning. Be sure to obtain those prior to the orientation meeting, which occurs shortly before the semester begins, as you'll be using them right away. Costs will vary a little each semester, but plan for about $600 a semester for books and supplies. Undergraduate students will also be charged an additional $31 a credit for tuition differential. How this money is spent is decided by the Black and Gold Committee, which is predominantly students. Typically, you will see benefits in the Nursing Learning Resource Center, reduced ATI costs, and CLEX prep um, expenses, etc., as decided by the committee. You are welcome to join that committee if you are interested in having a say about this. Um, information will come to you at the beginning of the semester in regards to that. You are required to wear the UWM nursing student uniform. It is ordered through Gloria K, which is located on 124th Street, just south of Capitol Drive in Wauwatosa. We will also be having um, uniform order days on campus sometime soon, hopefully. Only one set is needed for the first semester as you're only at the clinical setting one day per week. You will also wear it when you are in the Nursing Learning Resource Center for guided practices, practicing skills, and testing out. 
You can also wear your lab coat, assuming you get it at the white coat ceremony, which you'll learn about soon. The Nursing Learning Resource Center also has lab coats that you can borrow. You will need shoes as described in the uniform policy. Plan to wear them only at the clinical agency for your protection. Lots of germs, bacteria can be carried on your shoes. You don't want that in your home. You will need a stethoscope to use throughout the program and your nursing career. You received information on this in your packet, but you can order from anywhere. Watch the cost. You do not need an advanced stethoscope at this point in your career. Know that there are special ones available for those who are hard of hearing or hearing impaired. Your ID pictures will be taken in the Student Affairs Office at the appropriate campus. Watch for information to be forthcoming on this as well. There will be a mandatory orientation meeting on Tuesday, April 25th for undergraduates and Wednesday, August 26th for MN students. Plan to be there. Lots of information will be shared at those meetings, which you won't want to miss. We also distribute uniforms at the end of these meetings. We provide lunch as it's an all day meeting. Undergraduate students should register for these courses for their first semester of the program. Hold off on registering for 353 until clinical sites are posted in the schedule of classes, not on pause. Be sure you are admitted as a degree-seeking student, you cannot start the program as a special slash guest student. You can tell by going into your pause account. If in question, ask your advisor. Your theory courses will meet Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with clinical um, and most guided practices on Tuesday and Thursday. You need to, to look at this as a full-time commitment. Know that you will be expected to read about 300 pages per week. You will need to remember the content of previously learned courses, such as all of your sciences. You will have lots of papers and assignments that need to be done each week. Many of our students can handle working about 20 hours a week with this um, commitment while in the major if their lives are not complicated in other ways. However, if you have a complicated life, caring for family, needing to work a lot, etc., know that it is possible to complete the program on a part-time basis. Many students have found this the best option to do it all successfully. Contact your advisor if interested in going part-time by the deadline posted in the acceptance packet. If English is your second language, know that you will need additional study time as well. Everyone should participate in supplemental instruction that is available for the PathoPharm and Health and Illness courses. These are the courses required for the first semester of the Direct Entry Master's program. Nursing 720 is completed by students in several of our programs, so check the schedule of classes to confirm you are in the correct section. There is significant cost difference between some of the sections. You should register for all of these courses with the exception of 680 as clinical sites have not been confirmed. Watch the schedule of classes for that information to be posted as soon as possible. Eight credits is considered to be full time at the graduate level. 14 is very rigorous. Be prepared to decrease your work hours to be able to complete the courses successfully. Students in the program advise not working more than 15 or so hours a week, if at all possible, at this level. Please contact the appropriate person listed if you have questions or concerns about any of this information. We all look forward to helping you as you progress through the program to reach your goal of being an exceptional RM. Our program here at UWM have the reputation of graduating students who are strongly prepared as they are entering into the healthcare workforce. Best wishes for your success.